Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I would like to present my topic, Financial Literacy in Economic Role. So what is financial literacy? Financial literacy is the ability to understand basic financial concepts and make informed decisions on the use and management of money. Financial literacy contributes to economic growth through financial market, entrepreneurship, and well-being. For the first one, financial literacy is positively associated with financial market. For example, people tend with a higher level of financial literacy tend to participate in stock market. And the next one is broad detections and portfolio diversifications and dynamics. For the second one, financial literacy positively affect entrepreneurship. For example, so people with a higher levels of financial literacies tend to be self-employed or an, uh, to become an entrepreneur. Uh, fintech uses fintech's entrepreneurial intentions. And also financial literacies affect personal finance. For example, people with a higher level of financial literacy budget more often, better money management, credit card repayments, and retirement planning. So we should know how financially literate are people with wires. Actually, in the world's so levels of financial literacy is quite low. For example, even Canada or US, the percentage of adults who are financially literacy, literate are uh, 68% uh, only, and in US, so it's half 57% only. But look at the ratios. Uh, China or Vietnam here. So the percentage of adults who are financially literate is quite low. And that's the reason. So we should care for financial literacy levels among the young. And this is uh, the global financial literacy, literacy score ranking. So you see the highest score takes 71% only. And, uh, and the, the lowest one is takes 13%. So uh, in the world, so we are divided into two groups. So the first group is major advanced economies. And the second is major emerging economies. And you can see in the world here, so only 20% of uh, people have financial, uh, financially literate. And if we consider uh, people in major advanced economies or adults here, so it takes uh, around 50%. But compare, uh, the major emerging economies, so the percentage of adults uh, are financial literacy, uh, financially literate is about 20% only. For gender, so fem female and males, so there is a gender gap in financial literacy and in general, so boys over represented at both ends of the performance distribution. It means so boys in general have higher level of financial literacy than girls. 
and uh, also adults as well. So women uh, have lower financial literacy level than men. And this one here, for example, uh, consider three else of four topics correct. So men answer correctly about uh, 30% and uh, women uh, have only 25 percent right and look at this one here for major advanced economies so men also have the higher level of financial literacy than women and also uh, it's uh, applied for a major e emerging economy as well so men uh, also have higher level of financial literacy than women so in general, so men has uh, men have a higher level of financial literacy than uh, women. And if we consider financial literacy score by age, so we consider the young here. So um, in the world, we have we consider four groups, four group, a groups. And if we consider the young here, so that's the, the young group here, we can see. So in general, the young have um, the financial literacy below about 30% only. But compare the major advanced economies, so the young have um, about 50%. But for major emer emerging economies, so the young have only 30%, so below 40%. So it means so we are here. So we are uh, in Asia and we are very considerable about the young financial literacy. For my uh, publications uh, recently, so I published uh, several uh, topics related to financial uh, literacy or financial knowledge in Vietnam, in Vietnam. And um, the key factor to improve financial literacy is, is uh, learning motivation. And it's published uh, in Journal of Consumer Affairs. The next one is related to financial literacy uh, in of the household head. And this one is with, I focus the roles of parents to improve uh, children's uh, financial literacy and budgeting behavior. And also, I test um, the, the important role of financial knowledge in, entrepreneur, in entrepreneurship and also fintech, fintech entrepreneurial intention. So I would like to show you a little bit about uh, my uh, publication related to learning motivation because it makes uh, financial literacy uh, of the students uh, improve. And we, uh, I survey, so we survey uh, 730 university students in Vietnam and this is uh, our conceptual model, learning motivation affect financial literacy. And how can we measure learning motivation? So we measure learning motivation based on six factors. And uh, the first one is self efficiency. The next one is active learning strategy. The next one is learning value performance goal, achievement goal, and learning environment stimulation. So all of them here, we have the scale to the question to ask students to answer the question here. And also, I, we test the moderate moderation um, of the characteristic. And uh, I summarized the financial knowledge of financial literacy is among uh, student, university student here. And you can see we, uh, we have 16 questions, but the maximum the student answer correctly is uh, also 15 score, 
that means 15 questions and you can see so uh, for the average that means a score here so this one is the highest so nearly a hundred percent the hundred percent student here but for the questions for example question 13 here so only uh, below 30 percent 30 percent of students answer correctly and we divide basic uh, financial knowledge and advanced financial knowledge as well and for the number of C, number of C's interest comparing inflation time value of money and money illusion here so look at this one here we have the uh, number answer incorrectly is quite high for example uh, for very basic uh, questions here so nearly 35 percent answer wrong right wrongly and uh, we use some methods so ours and sme as well and we find learning motivation positively affect uh, financial literacy you can see so and it's a robust uh, to alternative methods and also for the factors so sell efficiencies also affect and finance learning value as well and for male and female here we can see so male uh, we caught male equal one and you can see so um, males uh, have the higher financial literacy than females including basic and advanced as well so who helps students improve financial literacy so i suggest so we have three groups the first one educators the second one is parents and the last one institutions and policy makers for education so related to our my uh, publication so learning motivation here so i suggest educators or teacher uh, should encourage students to have the positive attitudes towards financial literacy and increase their learning motivation so that's the key word uh, to help students to improve their financial literacy for parents so i also published uh, the roles of parents um, in financial literacy improvement as well and uh, that's the reason so why parents uh, play an important role in children financial literacy improvement and uh, it's also related to um, parental social socialization so this is theories and very famous to uh, help students or children to improve their knowledge and the last and for institutions and policy makers so uh, for schools or universities so we should organize more financial courses so teach financial more financial courses to students including secondary high school and university students as well and for policy makers so we should organize more workshops and talk shows related to the importance of financial literacy in economic growth 